people began using oil around 6 to 8 thousand years before Christmas. The dark oily liquid was used for construction, lighting and heating, medicinal and military purposes. Ancient oil production spots were located on the banks of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers and the Chinese province of Sichuan. The fluid was collected from the surface waters and oily rocks, crushed, heated and squeezed with a press. In China, the ancient wells were drilled by hand. Later, the Chinese introduced the mechanical automated method of oil extraction the percussion drilling and percussion rotation drilling. The world's first oil well was drilled in the place called Bibi Heibat, near Baku, in 1848. The United States started the extraction of its oil 11 years later. Makat district of Atrao region had long attracted the attention of the researchers. Many had believed that the western region of the Kazakh land was rich in mineral resources. The history has proven them right. The first attempts of exploration works date back to 1892. This is when the so-called exploration campaigns began. The petroleum production company Noble Brothers Limited, Ural Caspian Oil Society, Emba Caspian and other companies searched for oil in Dasor, Karaton, Karashungul and Isken. By the end of 1899, the Russian oil firm Lemon & Co. drilled the seventh well of the planet 20 wells in Karashungul. In November 1899, when the drill reached a depth of 40 meters, the oilers hit a gusher. The quality of Karashungul oil proved to be excellent. This was how the history of Kazakh oil production took its start. The petroleum production company Noble Brothers Limited, also known as Branobel, is considered to be the pioneer of many innovation in the oil industry. The oil-producing company was involved in construction of an oil tanker, laying a pipeline through the mountains, creating cylindrical oil storage tanks. In April 1911, a new oil gusher was reported in the tract of Dasor in western Kazakhstan. The column of oil rose to a height of 20 to 25 meters. The gusher continued sending a column of oil into the sky for 30 hours and produced more than 16,000 tons of oil. With this event, Kazakhstan started its commercial production of oil. In the late 19th century, wooden barrels were used for shipment and transportation of oil. This is how the present-day measurement for oil volumes appeared in use. One barrel makes up 159 liters of oil. Within three years after the start of the oil field development, EMBA gave jobs to nearly 6,000 workers. The sword tract started growing into an actual town. Oil deposits are located deep in the earth at the depths between several tens of meters to 5 to 9 kilometers. In 1913, a new large deposit was discovered near Makat settlement in Guryov region, present-day's Atrao region. A year later, the total volume of oil production in Dosor and Makat was 200,000 tons per year. Oil is not only black in color. It can be colorless, green, brown, yellow and red. The lighter the color, the higher is the quality of oil. Due to the development of oil production in the 1930s, the Guryev region of Kazakhstan flourished. Advanced labs, oil colleges and offices started opening. During these years, new oil fields of Baichunas, Koshagul, Shubarkuduk, Kulsari were discovered. The Great Patriotic War resulted in accelerated oil production in Kazakhstan. The war front needed fuel. During the years of World War II, the workers of Ural Emba district had to work 12 hours a day, 7 days a week. Oilers mined thousands of tons of minerals. When the oil wells are depleted and the pressure drops, the remaining minerals are extracted with the use of the so-called secondary method, when the free underground spaces are filled with water and gas to maintain the reservoir pressure. 
exploration and development of oil fields in Sagaz, Jaksambay, Kamsamolsk, Koshkar, Tintiksor districts started during the World War II. This is also when Munayla, Begbike and Karaton oil fields were put into operation and the construction of Guryev refinery began. During the hardest and gloomiest years of our history, the Kazakh oil had become an invaluable contribution to the victory over fascism. The petrochemical industry produces a variety of products from oil, including DVDs, CDs, telephones, tanks, planes, lipsticks, toothpaste, detergents, antiseptics, medicines, and this is not the complete list. For instance, 80% of the computer's parts are made of oil. Post-war years were the period of intensified exploration works that resulted in the discovery of new fields in Kazakhstan, including Terenozek, Tajgalı, Tyules, and Karaarna. In the early 1950s, our country produced 1 million tons of oil annually. In the same years, oil companies began developing the oil fields of Mangishlak Peninsula. This is how the new oil fields of Karsak, Martishi, Tanatar, Kamishitova and Yugozapadnaya Kenkiak and Uzien were opened. In 1965, Kazakhstan's oil production reached 2 million tons per year. The biggest sea vessels are the oil tankers. The longest tanker ever built in history was the Norwegian supertanker Nok Nevis, also known as Seawise Giant. Its length was 458 meters. It possesses the greatest dead white tonnage ever recorded. It was generally considered the largest ship ever built, as well as the largest self-propelled human-made object ever built. Following Uzen, another large oil deposit Jetebai was opened in the south of Mangishlak. Later, Karajanbas, Severny Buzachi, Kalamkas oil fields were discovered. By 1974, oil production in Mangishlak reached 21 million tons per year, which made Kazakhstan the second largest oil producer in the Soviet Union. Ten countries produced two out of three of the world's oil. The world's largest oil producer is Saudi Arabia. In the subsequent years, the oil map of Kazakhstan was enriched with the new fields. In 1979, Tengiz oil field was opened in Atrau region. The same year, another giant oil deposit Karashiganak was discovered. After Kazakhstan had become an independent state, another giant oil and gas field Kashagan was found in Atarau region in 2000. Kazakhstan's oil reserves are currently estimated at nearly 5.7 billion tons. In 2002, Kazakhstan establishes a national company Kazmonai Gas. 100% of its shares belong to the state represented by the National Welfare Fund Samruk Kazna. In 2004, the merger Uzen Munai Gas and Emda Munai Gas Company led to creation of a subsidiary of the national company Kazmunai Gas Exploration and Production. In 2006, Kazmunai Gas Exploration and Production floated its shares on the London and Kazakhstan Stock Exchange for the first time. The company wholly or partially owns the asset of Ozien Munai Gas, Embo Munai Gas, Petro Kazakhstan, Kazger Munai, Karajan Bas Munai, and others. Today's area exposed to human activity in oil industry makes up one-fourth of the land used some 30 years ago. This is due to the development of technology and use of modern methods of horizontal drilling, mobile drilling rigs and small diameter wells. Currently Kazakhstan's oil production grows by 10% annually. If this trend continues, the country has great chances to soon become one of the world's top oil producers. At present, Kazakhstan exports oil and gas sector products to dozens of countries of the Eurasian continent. The export capacities are continuously expanded. In addition, new technologies for deep processing of raw materials are being introduced. Currently, the profit from Kazakhstan's oil and gas industry makes up a quarter of the country's GDP and nearly two-thirds of the state budget.